today's term from psychology is iconic memory. People remember different things in different ways. We remember sounds similar to, but not quite the same way as, we remember words. Much as if two different but overlapping parts of the brain are involved in those two related forms of memory. And we remember objects in yet a third way, as if a third part of our brains is involved in the memory of an object or picture. Let me give an example. If I were to ask you to look at a picture and then close your eyes and try to visualize that picture, what you would see in your mind's eye is what we call an iconic memory of the picture. Typically, such an iconic memory is not anywhere near as detailed as the original picture and is stored in your brain for a slightly shorter period of time than any auditory memories of sound or words, called a choic memory. Both the choic and iconic memories are sensory memories and thus are temporary at best and fade quickly. They do contribute to the formation of long-term memory, but are only part of the greater process that makes some memories permanent. Iconic memory is believed to play a role in change blindness, or the failure to detect changes in a visual scene. In experiments, researchers have shown that people struggle to detect differences in two visual scenes when they are interrupted by a brief interval. They suggest that the brief interruption effectively erases iconic memory by allowing it to decay, making it much more difficult to make comparisons and notice changes. So remember, iconic memory is just one form among many that contribute to permanent memory.